Well, my name is Gregor Dietrichmeier. I'm a member of the uh, executive board of uh, Pöttinger. I'm in charge of the resource marketing and sales as well as uh, after sales and, and product management. Um, this company has uh, a long lasting history. It was founded almost 150 years ago. So Mr. Franz uh, Pöttinger, he invented a kind of uh, forage cutting machine. So he was originally not coming from the egg technology or from the, from the farmer's business. He was a, a, a clock maker, uh, but the huge ones that are used in, in towers, church towers, uh, and that was his background. He was a kind of uh, clock engineer and with that knowledge and that uh, specific technology, he invented this forage cutting machine and introduced it to the market. So that happened almost 150 years ago and in about two years time we are going to celebrate that business anniversary. Pöttinger understands itself as being a specialist in grassland as well as in, in seeding and in tillage. Um, of course our roots are in grassland so we have been able to um, develop our position as a, a world market leader in loader wagons. So that started already in the early 16th of the, of the last century. Um, and mo a lot of people uh, who hear putting uh, uh, think about grassland as their first thought, but uh, we, ha we, de we have developed our business. So we have taken over a plow fa factory in the 70s already. That was our step into the tillage business. And then also a seeding company which more or less completed our assortment. But just speaking on that, you said you're a, wor a world exporter. Do you, do you have any idea? Do you export to most countries in the world? or uh, Most countries. So we export and ship our products to a lot of uh, different, or into a lot of different markets. Um, just to, to put some figures up in the air. So 88% of our current turnover is is achieved abroad, so not in the domestic market, so only 12% are left in Austria. Austria, this, this is our, our base market, that's where we come from, or let's better say the, the Alpine area, so that includes also Switzerland as well as the northern part of Italy, so southern Tyrol. That's where we have uh, developed at the very early beginning our machines for, the specific needs of that kind of customers. But within the last decades, we have extended our assortment. We have developed new machines and, and, and we have subsidiaries in almost every country in, in Europe as well as uh, in North America. So we have, there is a company uh, putting a subsidiary in Canada as well as in, in US. So we have our company in China, for example, in Australia. So I would say we are already an, an international uh, company. And now Ireland as well. It's no longer, Ireland no longer works with the importer. Mm -hmm. You have uh, Dermot and his team running yeah. up in Ireland. Is Ireland an important market for Pottinger? Oh, of course it is. So we all know, so Austria is a small country, also Ireland is a small country, but very important because we, uh, or we are always challenged uh, launching new products in Ireland because there is a heavy or high endurance use. Uh, of the products there and if our if our machines work there they work everywhere so that's that's a kind of saying I Ireland is tough <laughs> I Ireland is tough uh, but you know uh, our position is uh, we are or we understand ourselves as a manufacturer of uh, uh, high quality machines and, and and representing a premium brand uh, and we have to take these challenges to make our machines reliable and and to offer the best products to our customer. Dermot, where are we today? Today, Gary, we're here in, in Grieskirk in the headquarters of, of Pottinger. Um, it's the home of Pottinger, it's the, our main production facility for our grassland range. Okay, so it's all hay and forage is made here? Hay and forage here, exactly, yeah. Just the first thing I noticed about the factory, there's a few improvements going on. Yeah, yeah, we're under a massive um, bit of a, a redevelopment process here at the, at the facility and it's to cater for us for our, our growth um, in the industry. Um, we've, we're experiencing phenomenal growth in terms of sales worldwide um, and as well as that, updating the facilities, uh, the halls um, and do all that without affecting any kind of um, production procedures. I know, I know. Um, like what level of manufacture goes on here? Is it like just assembly or is there 
so much more? No, um, I mean, for us, uh, it's very important for us to be in control of what yeah. we do. Yeah. Uh, so we, we manufacture a lot of our spare parts here. So things like the gears for the moor beds, gear for power harrow beds, um, many other parts. I mean, there's welding going on, there's, there's, there's uh, folding, bending, machining, milling, everything mm -hmm. goes on uh, mm -hmm. that we need to do. So it gives us greater control over our parts. And for us, quality is very, very important. Uh, so if we manufacture our own parts, it gives us control over quality. Yeah, and that's what you're aiming for. Absolutely. Yeah, you want control. Yes. Uh, your painting facility, I was very impressed with. Okay. What was happening there? Powder coating? Powder coating, yes. Um, so powder coating is, it's, uh, would probably be the, the daddy of painting procedures. Yeah, yeah. Um, and we paint for a number of different companies, not just for ourselves. Part of our overall turnover is generated yeah. from painting for other companies. Uh, but powder coating gives you that quality finish, that shine, mm -hmm. that thickness, that layer. Durability. Um, durability, absolutely. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. So when you're in ag machinery, you're dealing with the elements of the exactly. weather, of the ground. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so it, that thickness gives it your ability, particularly for us in Ireland, we get the extremities of weather. Mm -hmm. um, you know, when, again, up around the Grassman territory in the north yeah. coast, you get the salty air. Exactly. So that good quality paint is high resistance. Keeps the machine looking nice. Absolutely, keeps the yeah. machine newer for longer. Yeah. What's the building across the road from us here? It's a bit funky looking. What's that all about? Uh, at Billingary is the Technology Innovation Centre. Right. Uh, so it's a, it's a facility used by multiple different companies to to test machines. Uh, we use it quite a bit to test a lot of our machines. So if we're producing a new machine, um, it goes across there. Um, some of the components we manufactured there for testing. Uh, but over there you have shaker beds, you have um, units that will bend, test yes. the machine out to its absolute yeah, limits. Yeah, yeah. Um, and again, it boils back down to ensuring that the machines leave here end of the day are well fit for purpose mm -hmm. and they're meeting the quality standard. Yeah. Well, when I think a Pottinger, or when I did think a Pottinger, and I think guys around home as well, I thought of the grassland machinery. <laughs> but like we have worked with it in the past. We're a big fan of it at Grassman. Yep. Wagons, double mowers we had with your Alpha Motion, mm -hmm. which is a thing we're going to be working on this year yep. again, only with the, the A10s, isn't that right? That's correct, yes, yeah. But tomorrow we're going to another big part of Pottinger, which yep. is tillage. Exactly, yeah. So and I didn't just wholly realise to Agritechnica this year how big a range of tillage gear he's had. Mm -hmm. So we're yep. going to where tomorrow? We're going to Vodnany, right, uh, okay. Czech Republic. Czech Republic. So it's a, a new facility that was built back in 2007, which is the main production plant for all our soil engaging equipment. So we talk about ploughs, disc cultivators, time cultivators, powerhouses. Yeah, and, and as Pottinger we do a large range of tillage equipment. Uh, you know, right up to this year we launched a 10 meter terra disc disc harrow, mm -hmm. which is big in the States, uh, Russia, Ukraine. Um, some of the machines here on the shore and you'll yeah. see the, the 6 meter terra yeah. here. Yeah. Again, big across uh, Russia, Ukraine. Starting to become more popular in Ireland, we're putting a very big push on our range of seed drills at the moment in Ireland. Yes. Uh, they're produced in another factory in Berenberg in Germany. Mm -hmm. So that's where we have a lot of extensive knowledge in seeding and seeding, precision seeding. Mm -hmm. um, so we have a very wide range of tillage equipment. So I think tomorrow you'll see another eye opener. Yeah, yeah. The buzzword, the buzzword for us um, at, at home has to be the baler mm -hmm. for this, this particular season. Yeah. And I know um, from chapman to Dermot that the plan is to, to get out and do a few demos. Um, mm -hmm. We first got to see the baler at Agritechnica. Your, your stand was phenomenal, by mm -hmm. the way. We thought it was a, a, a very lovely presented stand. Mm -hmm. But I can't let you away without a challenge. Just over beside your stand was what we would consider home of the combination baler, was the mm -hmm. McHale stand. Are mm -hmm. you confident that your new combination baler can come into Ireland and literally impress mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, the, the Irish customer who's uh, obviously... So if we would not have been confident, we would not have started that project. So, uh, but on the other hand, you're absolutely right. Uh, it is not easy, <clears throat> but therefore our approach was, and, and that was also the understanding for the entire project, uh, we are a late, late, late follower with the round baler. Um, and we very soon 
took it as a part of our uh, achievement or targets that if we come with the putting around Baylor, then we have to be in some aspect better than all the other machines that are uh, available at, uh, at, at the market. Uh, and and that, was, uh, that, that was how we found motivation and that, that drove us also uh, during the entire, through the entire uh, project. And we have found some uh, technical specifications and some um, product USPs that are really making our, our customers curious. For, for example, one is the, the specific flow, uh, how the, uh, the, 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 the forage is collected and, in, and put into the, the, to, to the baler, uh, or uh, some service aspects, how you can take out the, 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 the knife block and to, to, ex to change the knives. So that's, that's very user friendly and then service friendly and several other aspects. So we knew, and, and, and of course there is competition all around the world and there is also competition in the Baylor's business. But we are really confident that we have some nice product features and we can uh, compete successfully. So you're telling us to keep our eyes open and go yes. and see one work and we'll be happy? Yes, please. Do so. <laughs> Am I right in saying the Alpha Motion More is probably the most popular product made here? It is, yeah. Alpha Motion is still uh, unreached in terms of uh, some specific uh, product features. So besides the, the position of being world market leader uh, with our loader wagons, we are uh, also number one in front mowers and uh, uh, the Alpha Motion was a real breakthrough and uh, it's uh, unreached in terms uh, of contouring and that gives us uh, uh, or as a result of them, we have uh, no dirt in the, in, in, in the forage. The new hall where the mowers is being assembled, I just felt it was an awesome place to be. <laughs> like it's the architecture and everything and it's just there and like it's your system for building the mowers. Like mm -hmm. Just talk us through a bit of that. Yeah, I guess it's all down to uh, efficiencies. Yes. Um, and as you would have seen, the, the mower assembly hall, so you've got one hall which stores the parts required for the mowers. Mm -hmm and the second hall is your assembly hall. Um, so in the, in the first hall you'll have seen the, the trucks going around with the assembly trailers or assembly trolleys. Um, and these trolleys will contain all the parts required for that particular mower that they're assembling. Mm -hmm. um, so it brings everything far more efficient. So you don't have a guy who's assembling a machine digging into a box of many parts. He's yes. just picking that one part off the trolley, fitting it to the mower. It's all there. It's all there, exactly. It's so it speeds up the whole yeah. process. He's not damaging other parts. For, for use later, yeah, yeah. he's only using the parts that he requires. Yeah, so extremely efficient. Yes, very efficient. I noticed in that hall there was a certain machine where the, all the mower beds went through. What's yep. happening there? So every mower bed we produce, uh, whether it's to go onto a machine or to be put into spare parts, is tested. So what you saw there was a, a testing hub mm -hmm. uh, where the mower is run at full speed for a set period of time mm -hmm. and everything is checked, every tolerance is checked. Uh, vibration, even sound, even noise is checked. And you know, every single bed we produce is tested. And again, it's ensuring that high quality standards are met. And for us, testing every mower bed uh, is important because you want to ensure when the mower is delivered to the customer, that we know it's going to work 110%. When the mower beds were tested, then there was a thing that I would describe as a vending machine, <laughs> basically for, yes. like I'd never, like we've been in a fair few factories and Never seen anything like that before now. Yep. That's for basically storing your mower beds. Exactly. Basically storing your beds. So it, it's, it's using the, the height of the, the room mm. to store. Yeah. Um, so it's using all the space above our heads really. Um, so like you said, it's like a vending machine. Um, mm -hmm. When the guys finish testing, it goes into an elevator shaft following. Yeah. It's stacked up and at the other side, you can take it away. Yeah. We are hopefully going to be doing a little bit of work um, in Ireland this year with Dermot and his team. 
and uh, one of the products that we're going to be looking at will indeed be uh, the moors so uh, it's a case of watch this space but will we be disappointed with the moors or will we be happy i think you will be happy <laughs> well, thank you for being here it's a real pleasure to have you